Anyway, um, so do you think you can play the ground? I'm getting there. Without the music? And you know what? If you think about it, Right. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So really, the whole difference in these lines is the fact that they go up to, they a, go high to high a high A. Yes. For crying out loud. That's why I say that if you can play the front, the first one, the first line, then the ne the next one is certainly no more complicated, right? So are you playing? You are playing, or you're not playing a high A? That's a P. You want to play it this way. I'm trying to play it that way to see if I can. Okay. And if I can't, I'll just have to switch back. But I feel like I can't. Does that make sense? So, yeah, like the, um, what the heck is Why that? did they switch it? Just the probably the for the light, light music. It was just easier to... Well, why did they switch it at all, period? Yeah, that's true. Right? Um, I don't know. It's I don't know if I ever heard the definitive answer. Because the only thing I was that. thinking is maybe because it's it's sharper. But then all, all the time, it's the first problem is your high A and your high G go sharp on the pipes. Well, when they, but, when you, but you know out. what? The old chanters, the older, back, the further back you went, even when I was a kid in that, those hardy chanters and that, we were a lot flatter. That's true. A lot a flatter, lot flatter. Than we were now. Oh, like, my, yeah, it's, way, you know, it's really sharp now. This particular peep rock called the Lament for the Union, it would be helpful to play the peep rock high A. Okay. You'll see. <laughs> Because he goes right to... <laughs> and it does and he... that throughout the tune. Oh. So I've got that. So then we get okay. to the bear. So that is it, right? I played the whole ground, right? No, I didn't. Well, you did, but I, I sort of got a little bit confused as to what you... You do know it. Yeah, I'm realizing... I think maybe what we'll do is we'll go back and we'll try it again. Is that all right? <laughs> yes, and I'm noticing it goes, it goes C, B, A. Then here it goes... Same thing. C, yeah, B, but, we, but you play a high A. But there's a slight difference in, yes. the, in the second line. Right? Okay. True? Yes. Okay, okay, let's try it again. For, for, for your start, 
pause a little bit more before the grip. I got in, uh, I was doing that, I was clipping it too. Okay. Da, 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 da. Shoot. Right? That was pretty darn good. Do um, I slow down before I go? I heard people slow down before they go to get ready for the net to the variations. Is that something? You can a bit, but don't get too, right? It's supposed to be the same tempo. Throughout. Oh, okay. So don't get too fancy. Right? Um, the other thing there is in some places, the trill or the the uh, the doubling on high A was really tight. I remember forgot. We, we, remember yes, you said. About that? Right, it sounds yeah. a little bit nicer if you play it open. Okay, I forgot. Right, no, no, that's good. Um, now that being said, sometimes you you, you know you, you da da he da rum di up a di up a da. Now, question: da, da. You know how when you hear that noise, that sound. Da, da. That is what you want to hear, right? Yes. Okay. Because I wasn't sure if I was putting it like I was making it. I'm so used now to it. Now, where, where is that at? Even like how you have that D grace note to A or D grace note to C. Oh. I just wanted to make sure it's so nice and clear. Oh, it's even more open. Oh, that's make nicer. Sure you, can, you can hear it all, right? Okay, good. Right. I wasn't sure what they were looking for, what, how I should. You play. know what? That's the thing about P rock too, is that a certain amount of it is open for interpretation. Isn't that nice? Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's sort of like you know that was described to me as you know the the skeleton and you put it put together it yourself, oh, okay. right? Yeah. You know what I mean? And so um, yeah. So way back in the day, I think we talked about this before when the, before there was written notation. And the whole thing was passed down by Cantorach, mm -hmm. right? That you and I might have went to the same instructor, but your interpretation of it, like in one of the big players, whether they were McCrimmons or whoever they were, 
uh, my interpretation of it was slightly different than yours. Mm -hmm. So if you read through some of these like footnotes in the in the Pave Rock Society, it would say because there was only there was only a couple of students that went to this particular instructor, and we were the ones. So both of our interpretations of that particular piece are seen as equally. Accurate. Yes. And, and right. Even if there is a little bit of a difference. And there is it. a difference. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's a lot of times you'll see those and they'll talk about them in all of these footnotes and stuff. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So no good. So um variations. Why don't we take it from the la from the uh, second time through the last phrase of the ground? into the first <laughs> variation. So when we hit the first variation, probably looking at something like tempo way. Da, da, de, da, de, de, da, de, de, da, de, de, da. I had so much fun practicing this. Do you still need your pen? I don't know. <laughs> well, you could try it. No. I didn't hear any trill at all on that. Oh, I was no because I was stuck. I was, Did you play you know where I was? I, I was smelling your chicken. He <laughs> <laughs> was. I wasn't oh, I, looking, I but it was so funny because I was memorizing it, and then I got excited because I, I was like, you wow. You started I... to smell the chicken again. <laughs> oh, okay. I was just like, wow, I can remember this, and then I lost it. No, no, that okay. was good, right? So how far did I go? Okay, let's do it again. You got it. You got, you, you got to here. This is where, this was fine. This line was good. This line was good up to here, and I don't, I think you might have went to here. Oh, and then, um, well, right? that's bad. No, for, that's very good. For not thinking no. I know it. That is a good lesson to students. You know more than you think you know. You well, use our right. music as a crutch a lot. Yep. Trust your instinct, maybe? Yes, trust right. your instinct, yep. Yep. Let's try again. What do you want to take it from the, do you want to take it take from Take it from the, the top, uh, might as well. The top or? Well, like the top of the variation. Oh, do you, you want it, well, or do you want it from the I think top? we'll do it, well, no, no, I think we'll do it from the, from the last two okay. bar, the last phrase of the, of the ground, if okay. you don't mind. And then we yep. sort of get the, transition between the two with a slight change in tempo That's and true. accent. Oh, yes, there right. Go. Okay. We're start. I want to start. We'll start at the very at the beginning where we were, okay. and I'll just read it. No, that's fine. I mean, oh I, no, I'm just I'm yeah. I'm picky on myself. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. That's no, no. That's it takes a long time. It does, I, but I, I was. And the other thing is too, you're gonna find with the P rock, 
and you're playing it, and you let your mind wander once. Right? I know, and, and then you're gone. If you start thinking about backing trucks up, or <laughs> thinking about roasting and so true chicken, because, you're in like, the ditch. Yes, it's true, because with piping, like, the the light music, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm right here. No, that doesn't happen. But when... see, it's, it's, in a way, the light music and whatnot is, I don't know if it's fair to say it's more melodious, but it seems like it's easier, it's less repetitive. Yeah. Right? That's true. And, and, it, yeah. and therefore, the melody is never the same, really, in any two places, mm -hmm. except for the, you know, the endings. But yeah. this one here, the, the, you know, it's, it's somewhat monotone mm -hmm. throughout. So but if you let your mind go, she's gone. gone. You're into the rhubarb. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> okay, let's try that again. All right. should do what and well we've got the so that was the the first the ground and the first two variations but you know what maybe what we should do because the other ones will come fairly easy but it's the chronolith it's the heavier ones yeah. that we really should start rehearsing even before we get there though yes right? I you know, know. What I mean? that's true they're so hard yeah. but one thing that's nice about the chronolith and stuff is I understand what they're saying where they say the ground is the hardest once you get your technique under control because it is. As soon as you know the how to do those tech pieces, then it seems almost, I can understand why per, they say that. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, some of the, this one here I don't find too bad, like the ground. Mm -hmm. that you look at another one like the uh, Lament for the Viscount of Dundee or whatever, like there, you know, there's a lot of heavy heavy movements in the ground right mm -hmm, there's yeah. so but um yeah well i mean you know the ground is basically the main theme of the tune and then right and then the variations are written on the ground or complement the ground or whatever you want to call it right mm -hmm. so um but i mean it's up to yourself we no can, we can totally let's do know. it let's get to the so what we do is we do those variations and then we get into what, what, it what says. about like like uh, I don't know if it's actually a proper GS. What makes it the proper proper GS? But that sounds like it to me. <laughs> don't, what 
What's don't that? don't mess your grace notes up or reverse them. Is that right? Mm -hmm. No, it's um, it's E and and G, G and E only. Oh no! Right, so it's. be in the wrong place now. That's okay. But... Right. Then D. And then, and then, but that, that, that's when you have to do a G grace note. What? Don't you? I don't understand the question. So you have to play a G grace note, so then what you do is you play two G grace notes. So if you're on E and you have to play it to stay in the repetition of what it is, you have to still play the... So if you're doing it rep rep repetitively, the way... Is it... <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> Man, am I... No friggin' Red much? Bull for you. <laughs> Whatever you call it. <laughs> Something sort of sounded a little bit bizarre. But I, it probably was a D because I'm uh, so used to playing. D. Well, right, it is. It is weird. And then, and then, then they and the variation three doubling. It's. But you play this. You there's told me this little, in the beginning. There's a little bit of a hesitation on that. That sounds terrible.
my Careful dear. Careful you don't get any crossing <laughs> Well, I'm sure there is plenty. <laughs> How about each slower right down? How about each, uh, no, but be careful. You're getting you're getting Give the a, a in there, right? <laughs> Take a break. Take a break for a minute. Let's play for fun. <laughs> Do you need the music? No. I don't think I do, unless you're going to surprise there's, me and well, say no. you're playing a wrong note in there, which well, is Well, there's possible. no, there's a few grace notes I'm not used to, because I'm used to just being G, D, E, but he's, he, I think, it there's almost like, Bob Worrell likes G grace notes. Isn't there a thumb in there? Um, I told Ingrid about this and she goes, I don't know if I know that tune. And I sent her a quick, yeah, you do. And then I sent her a quick recording oh, of it. Yeah? She's like, oh yeah, I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's a little bit bizarre. Yeah, but I'm so used to putting that. a burl at the end of it. And that's one thing I've, I'm trying not to do with a lot of tunes now. You know how every tune ends with a burl? Yeah, yeah. Is that what military did to it? No, I think that was civilians. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm I, you. No, no, no. I just noticed that. Why does everything end with a burl? Is there a low G? No. It's an A? No, it's a low G. Okay. <laughs> it's just, I wish. Man, wow. it was cute. I When I wrote, I said, Bob, where can I find Return from Glengarry? And he says, book three. And I said, oh, do you? Yeah. And I said, okay, so this one, and I showed him a picture because it was online. He says, yes, but you need to get through Scott's Highland because I guess Scott's Highland is in charge. It even says on it, it says... Um, they bought the rights to it or something? Uh, published by Scott's Highland oh, Services. Okay. So then he says, go through them. I have some to go through them. And then I had to show that we got it. It's so pretty. I remember hearing that when I was like 10. Do you know what? Halifax Place, when John Walsh had them, played it. <gasps> Played it That's going why in to, I knew it. To Anaganish yes. into the Highland Games. And I was just the right distance away. And this is the first time I heard the tune. 
and it and it was the right distance away and the winds and the acoustics must have been perfect yeah because it sounded like a recording and you could hear and no mistake john walsh was going in leading the band who do you think was judging the competition oh good job Bob Warren. and you know what you know what's so funny is i bet you that's how i knew it so well because my mom and my brother they were in Halifax Police, and I they used oh, I used to go to band practices, and oh, I would listen to them. Yes. So I probably heard them practice it, and because it was probably around that time, because you said Halifax Police, and when did they turn into seventy eights? Because they used to practice at a way different. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. like red oh kilt and everything. Jesus, I gotta start. You know, when I'm thinking of oh, I'll tell you when it was. It would have been twenty five years ago now. Makes sense because I I was about ten. That makes perfect that's sense. That's exactly when it was. Yep. Yeah. Cause I, and that's where I, that must have been where I met John Walsh. I love John Walsh. Yeah, he's a good guy. I... Why don't we start <laughs> with the, why don't we do the tarot first? Okay. All right. <laughs> Slow that down a little bit Slow. because then you're into your mocks, right? Because so yeah. Slight pause yeah. after the end, okay. so let's try the uh, uh, the last part. So you get C. Uh, what do you get there? You got B, B, Torlowa E, Bro He, Bro Da. The last two bars. Do you want to put a grace note? Yeah, do a grace note. But try to open up a little bit. Try to slow it down a little bit. <laughs> right? Right! Right here, ah! bro. Right? right? Mini chanter. Well, just listen for that. Listen, I'll just play it a little bit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why don't we? Hold on, sorry. Why don't we just try to slow it down a little bit, and and open up the right, open mm -hmm. up the mock a little bit. Yes, Nobody, I will. Dibbity, dibbity. We gotta relax a little bit. Yeah, my E grace notes on the right spot. That is so wrong. I was gonna... <laughs> now, what, now what you gotta realize here is that the G grace note is played on the beat note and is not actually part of the mock. So it's, Oh, so I'm playing, I'm supposed to play you're, it before you're, you're, it. Well, it is. Hobbity, 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 hobbity. So you gotta watch out that they don't sort of. See, you see how it's written? <laughs> see, so I play how it's written? Well, Is that how it goes? See, no, no, see? Yeah. So the G grace note is on the note, the beat note, like, and then followed by the Torloth. 
Or am I looking at the, is that the Amak? That's Tora Lewis, but the, the, the Amak. So yeah. that's cut. Habadi, 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 habadi. How do you do that? I don't know. Just like that? Yeah, That's but don't too put fast. it. Yeah, so try this. Listen, my interpretation, <laughs> anyway, right? Which yeah, was good true. for McGinnis and it was good for Gilmar, so. I this guess... is your interpretation. If you relax with it a little bit, yeah, that would be and it flows smoother. See, generally speaking, between oh, some of these variations, there's a change in accent, but there's also a slight change in speed. So you don't want to hit some of those going too fast in the singling, because then when you hit the doubling, you'll be oh, really, yeah, you'll be you, really cool. Oh, yeah, because you're supposed to... So you kind of gradually go up in speed? Yes, so, that is well, oh, right? Yeah, so, so you, you don't want to really hit it. So that's why you... Probably would naturally go slow faster down, too. Though. There's a slow down to the Kronlua. Uh So you get, um, where am I at here? flying too fast, right? Okay. Oh. 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 Does this make sure that you hold back on the Kronlua? Right? Because you don't want the tempo going too fast in the amount. Because it'll rip your fingers off. You'll be picking your fingers off the floor, right? Do you know what I mean? I totally get you. Last line and then into the amount. Okay. okay. Just a plain grand law. Right. So it would go. You know 
what? This was, this was confirmed that this was what I was hearing in uh, the CD you had given me was the reason why I didn't understand it yet that it was the mock is because it had the E in the middle of it. Oh. So then I didn't understand what it was, but I get it now. But yes, right? I need to break it down. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to be do careful. This you next don't week. get a crossing noise on the mock. You hear? You know what I mean? Isn't it a no rip? I'm losing it now. Right? Make sure you have, make sure when you play the top fingers that you have one finger down before you lift yes. the other one up. Because like it's a coming out sounding it is. a little bit wonky. It is. And I'm trying to put my, wrap my mind around it, right? And I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, now I understand, like, what, what was it? I was, I taught myself Field of Gold just to see if I could do it. Cave of Gold. Field of gold. Is it field? How's yeah. that one go? Um, D -ha. Something like that. Really pretty. It's so pretty. I know yeah. basically how Yeah, it so I played that yeah, and yeah. I just wanted to see if I could sort of do it. It was just my, you know. So then I played it for Bruce Scandy. I, I did that one. You and played it in competition? Yeah, oh, that one you? and the Grote were the two. And the Grote. Yeah, they're not easy. Why no. did you make up with the Crendel of Variations in that? It was really tight. It was really tight. But I'm t like the, I in all honesty, it was kind of, I haven't practiced P-Rock in about a year. Like it's been a while. Mm. And that was self-taught. So I kind of like, as soon as I, received the what I could do on my own. I was like, okay, I gotta stop. I gotta find an instructor. So, uh, um, but I got fourth place in grade two. Which nice. is not, not terrible. No, like, Jason, not, no, yeah. no, no, that. But he did, but I wanted to play the Grote, but I got nervous, so I played Field of Gold because I knew it better. But he's, because Bruce Ganey said, choose whichever one you want. Oh. And I should have done the were Grote. You, were you supposed to submit two? Yes, you're supposed oh. to submit two. That's why I oh, thought oh. we could, um, think in the Desperate Battle and McCrimmon's Sweetheart. Page. Yeah, so be careful in the variation too because it's e a a o o e e e o e e o e. No, that's where I get lost. <laughs> right there. Right. Like I do, I do okay, and then it's just that one. Look, you know what? I've been playing this for thirty years, forty years, or whatever, right? And uh, if I stop thinking about where I'm at, then I'm lost I'm too, lost. right? Yeah. yeah, you know. So. All right. Let's see how we do. So is that where we're starting from the top? From the top. Okay. Let's bring it. All right. Sorry. Oh, 
hold it now. Hold it, hold it, hold it. We didn't finish. You made a mistake. Oh, and see? then you still didn't even repeat it. Oh. I'm telling. From the top. That's what I, I was thought. saying. That's what I was wondering. I think uh, there was a. I think there was a mistake in the third phrase. Okay. Let's sorry. start from variation one. The begin. Da di 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 da di do di di do da di da da di si. So, no, it's so more high A. No, it's not. Should be. Oh, 
because you have to finish it off. Right? So let's go, let's try line two, or uh, line three, line three. So you got da dee da. Da dee dee da dee dee da. Da da dee dee da dee dee da da dee dee 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 So you have a real quick yeah. F at or high A at the end. P he he D Da E E A E Padam 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 Right? So do you know what I'm saying though yeah. at the end there? So that line would be But hold it now, I want you, I want oh. to hear you do the ending, right? What was I doing? Where am I? I don't know. Well see, hold it now. I ignore the last high A. And so that flows the way oh. that the rest of them pretty well hold. But what they're saying is you don't hold, you hold the, the B. B quite as long. Oh, I see that. And there. then just bounce off the so high end. I was looking end. at that, but it's right, right. there. Right. Yeah. Okay. C, C, B, E, C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E, C, E, Don't clip them so quick you no. can't hear them. Okay. Yeah. in there because I'm lost in there, I know, because right? I'm, I'm lost. I'm reading the second line only. I got lost. I still found the transition just slightly wonky. Did you? Okay, yeah. I'm not used to it. Right? Uh... Don't go too fast. 
I think what you did, you did, you went to line three and didn't play oh, line two. It That's said, what it was. Oh, but what is it? line second only? Line two only. You take that out. Oh, it's when I repeat. Right? <laughs> You're getting tired. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting no, tired. Well, well, you know what? Let's just finish this one off. And if you want to try the G's, the E, the B, they're just a bizarre. <laughs> Grace no configuration though, aren't they? Do you find that? Which the D ish? Or D this? The G is. G is. The 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 dentist? I'll do the last. I'm going to look at this for a bit. Okay, Okay. there's the no third. G grace note on that C. Oh. You played, a, you played a G grace note that time when you did it. Did I? I'm pretty sure you went. I did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I can't Where believe I said that. I never swear that badly. I'm the third third line uh, to go into the the other thing. But listen, you you're playing <laughs> you're playing it backwards. You're playing it quick. You're cutting it the wrong <laughs> way. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. It's supposed to be going hey. I know. Hey, and you're going day day. Oh. So that's why I'm thinking, what is going on here? Doing the, the E the E backwards the wrong way. I was doing it as a regular great a E double line. Ha! 
How do you do, you two, do two, that? Two G gravestones. Two, two, two G gravestones. Oh, I don't. Oh. Right? How else? How else can you do it? Right? Then you go out to her lip and lock. You do the amok. Okay. Take your time. What a mess. But listen, slow, slow it down. Just slow, slow it down, right? Because you're. No. I know I hear. A little bit, right? No, was that right? I think I'm lost. <laughs> I did it though. Well, you did. Oh, no, did. no, no, no. I'm not saying, right? Oh, that was I did pretty it. darn it good. It was sloppy, but I did it. I did it. <laughs> Because I could do this all night and oh 
Oh, we put no problem. Oh, no. Oh, dear. look, no, 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 look, no, we're no, doing no. 365 days, 10 minutes a day for a year. What are you doing? Okay, so the Scotia Music 365. I'm getting all of the students and anybody who wants to join to pay 20 bucks. They'll get a medal at the end and a chance to win a $100 gift card to Scotia Music, which can go towards lessons, etc. You have to play 10 minutes a day oh. for a year. Wow. And so Catherine is doing it, and this is day two.